Hello everyone, today I will be explaining 14.2 Human Genetic Disorders. I will be explaining how small changes in the DNA molecules affect human traits and summarize the problem caused by non-disjunction. Genes are made of DNA and they interact with the environment to produce an individual organism's characteristics, which can be called the phenotype. However, serious problems can result when genes fail to work. There is a direct and a simple connection between the molecule and the trait. So when changes occur in a gene's DNA sequence, it can change the proteins by altering their amino acid sequences, which will affect an individual's phenotype. Thousands of genetic disorders are caused by changes in individual genes. These changes often affect specific proteins associated with important cellular functions. For example, these changes can result in Huntington's disease, sickle cell disease, and cystic fibrosis. The sickle cell disease is caused by a defective allier for the pitoglobin, which is one of the polypeptides in hemoglobin. It synthesizes for the oxygen-carrying protein in red blood cells. This defective allele makes hemoglobin less soluble, which causes the hemoglobin molecules to stick together when the blood's oxygen level decreases. The hemoglobin clumps into long fibers, forcing the cells into a distinctive sickle shape. Sickle-shaped cells are more rigid than normal, which tends to get stuck in capillaries. If the blood stops moving through capillaries, damage to cells, tissues, and even organs can result. Cystic fibrosis. The CFTR, which stands for Cystic Fibrosis Transmembrane Conductance Regulator, allows chloride ions to pass across cell membranes. When the deletion of three bases in the DNA of a single gene occurs, the amino acid phenylalanine will be removed from the CFTR, causing the proteins to fold improperly. The cell membranes will be unable to transport chloride ions, causing the tissues throughout the body to malfunction. It is also important to mention that the two copies of the defective allele is needed to produce this disorder. People with only one normal copy of the cystic fibrosis allele are not affected by it, because they will be able to produce enough CFTR to allow their cells to work properly. Huntington disease. It's caused by a dominant allele for a protein found in brain cells. The allele for this disease contains a long string of bases in which the codon CAG, coding for the amino acid glutamine, repeats over and over again, more than 40 times. And despite intensive research by scientists, the reason why these long strings of glutamine, which causes the disease, is still not clear. The symptoms of this disease includes mental deterioration and uncontrollable movements which usually do not appear until middle age. However, the greater the number of codon repeats, the earlier the disease will appear and the more severe are its symptoms. Disorders such as sickle cell disease and cystic fibrosis are still common in human populations. In the United States, for example, the sickle cell allele is carried by approximately one person in 12 of African ancestry and the cystic fibrosis allele is carried by roughly one person in 25 of European ancestry. You may be wondering, why are these alleles still around if they can be fatal for those who carry them? Well, most African Americans today are descendant from populations that orig originally lived in West Central Africa, where malaria is common. Malaria is a mosquito-borne infection caused by a parasite that lives inside red blood cells. Individuals who carry the sickle cell allele are generally healthy and resistant to this parasite. This resistance gives them great advantage against the malaria disease. Chromosomal disorders. Errors in meiosis result in non-disjunction. If non-disjunction occur during meiosis, gametes with an abnormal number of chromosomes may result, leading to a disorder of chromosome numbers. This can result in many disorders, like the Down syndrome, which cause mild to severe mental retardation and a high frequency of certain birth defects. The Turner syndrome is also an example where women are sterile and their sex organs do not develop properly at puberty. And finally, the klein filters syndrome, which results into men being sterile. This is the end of our lesson. Subscribe and like for more.